This information is to those who are concerned. Pray. -o. But when you hear the word prayer, the first thing that grips your heart is fear. I imagine someone call me up and say, Matthew, pray. -o. That message is supposed to be a soothing message, but then it comes with its own thrill. And you're scared. What has gone wrong? What does this person see? Why should I pray? We've forgotten that prayer is a call to fellowship. A reminder that have you spoken with God today? Have you carried him out in your plans and your decisions? Or have you gone a, a little further to even gain fellowship back with you? It's one thing to talk and it's another to, to get a reply. And I know that's the extent that which God wants to fellowship with us. It may not look logical, but this is what I read from the Holy Book and I've experienced it. Again, when people say, Matthew, pray, I feel sad that this is sending a wrong message, but at the same time, God be praised. God is the only personality that loves you more than anybody and anything. Again, when you hear pray, it's a reminder that you should fellowship. Fellowship with God. God. Oh, God. I mean, he's the only personality that loves you more than anybody and anything in the world. Don't let your bitterness get the better part of you. We have been bitter. I have been bitter. I have been angry. And I still am at certain things that are happening in my life and in this country at large. But why run away from... Who? But why run away from the personality that I know has the solution to whatever problem I have in my life? And the truth is, when you go to him, expect certain answers. He may not even talk about the problem you're facing or the problem you brought before him or me, me, in his benevolence has been working because the Holy Book says that he already knows whatever is in your heart even before you ask. So he's working out things. Don't think he's silent. In fact, he already worked out things. Something that's been on my mind from the beginning of 2022 and the reasons why I don't want to talk about them is because I want to first experience them. Experience is sweeter to share than when you're just, talk, just talking from the thin air. From all the information I've gathered, I do know that this God wants to guide your life. Because I've told you in previous video, I think I'll put the link up, uh, up here above, that prayer, Christianity, is not just a religion. It's a restoration to a fellowship that we have lost with God. We have been called into a space where you do not longer need to kill, to sacrifice blood, to have sex to God. I will call it a communion where you speak to him and he speaks back. Where you can either isolate yourself or not isolate yourself, but just know that you are interacting with an higher being who has the most in his hands. You can either come with a request or not, or you can either come to fellowship and get more from him who created the whole world and has everything all planned out. For me, I think I want to go in there to just know what's up. What's up about five years from now with my life? How should I relate to this person? I've been feeling somehow about this lady. Should I go ahead or not go ahead? I want to know what bad thing is in my path and how can I avert it? I want to know what color should I avoid or what color should I embrace? I'm excited to know. I want to have the thrill on what my future children are going to look like. If those answers are possible to get, then that will be my pursuit. All right, next video, I have so many important things to share with you and open you up to and till we meet again, Matthew Maximus, don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. Because when you do so, the way the algorithm works, you have to get the video to another person who will probably be in need of it. I'll see you next video.